Good morning. Hey guys, Carrie from down in Texas. And I had a very sweet message from one of my community members to do a sort of step video on how I get myself going in the morning and process. Now, obviously I'm kind of filming this backward because I'm already dressed, right? But I don't know that I'd want to show you getting dressed and all that, but so I'm dressed. Okay. And I'm in my bedroom. So I get up every morning and I feed my dog, if my husband hasn't already done it, and I head out into my kitchen area where I, I'll just film this way so you can see, where I um, am currently working from. Because remember, uh, right now I'm working in my house because my husband and my dog both are kind of struggling a little bit physically and my office is way, 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 way too hot. And so I'm kind of working from in here uh, and we'll be probably through September because I really want to give them an opportunity to be the best they can be. And I need to be in the, in the house for that. So over here, over here is my office and back behind me, you can see that's my kitchen. So that's my kitchen. I go to my kitchen every morning and I make my, uh, pour my iced coffee, right? And I, I come in here and then I sometimes come in my living room, which is where I am now. This is my living room. And I turn the light on and I fiddle with the blinds it's not going to be a miserably hot day, I'll open the blinds up. If it's going to be a miserably hot day, then I'll keep the blinds pretty pretty closed to help offset energy bills. Because we've got an old house and old windows that are <laughs> not energy efficient at all. So, I kind of do that. I feed my puppy. I get my coffee ready. And then I figure out what it is that I want to talk about in um, my uh, daily makeup videos. So I come in here and I sit at my desk. This is my desk area. This is my dining room. I know it, it doesn't look great right now because my desk is all over my dining room, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when it comes to your family, right? And so that's sort of, why I'm in the house. I don't want either one of them to stress. I don't either want, I don't want either one of them to get into an emergency situation because my husband works upstairs and physically he is not doing well and I don't want him rushing down the stairs to get to the dog and you understand, right? <laughs> so I just come in and I sit down, I get my coffee and I put kind of put my thoughts together and I go through my day. What do I need to get done for the day? I come in and I obviously check my computers behind me. I have two screens. I check all my businesses. I check all the emails in the morning. I check my, excuse me, my insurance agency business. See if there's anything urgent that's come through. I check my DIY company to see if there's anything that's come through that's an urgent, you know, urgent that I need to get on. And I also check my mental wellness company and just kind of sit for a second and just think about what I just read and what's my, you know, my, my first step. I work off of lists. I think lists are really important and I document everything when I'm working. And I docu document everything in a spiral binders and I date them down here. Um, and then I come through and I, you know, write down what it is and then I put checks mark by it. And I check that every day before I make any videos just to see if there's something that I didn't get done from the day before that's really urgent. Um, answer any phone calls that I didn't, you know, return phone calls that I didn't get done. Um, and just kind of sit for a few minutes. I have been really struggling with my physical health, um, as well as just feeling like 
I'm overwhelmed. I have so many things happening. We've got a roof leak. My dog's not well, my husband's not well. I haven't been well. I've had two surgeries in two months. It's just been a lot. And so I just come and I check everything, I read everything, and then I just kind of think about, okay, which direction do I need to go first? Do I need to work on insurance first? Do I need to work on my DIY company? Do I need to answer any requests for a product? I also then have to go and I have to check my acting and my um, modeling site to see if there's any requests that have come in because that's very important. That's one of the biggest things that I'm really putting in a lot of effort into right now because the, the return on my time is so incredibly high. I get paid pretty nice from those things that I do. And so I wanna make sure they don't miss any messages or any requests or any audition requests. Um, and all of that <laughs> takes probably 30 minutes, right? Now, if it happens to be one of the days that I wash my hair, then that's the first thing that I'll do is I'll get up and come in and I'll wash my hair. I only wash my hair every three days because I had so much problem with my hair. I lost so much hair when I had my weight loss surgery, then I'm trying to be very careful about taking care of my hair. And the one thing that we are really doing is only washing it every third day to try to keep as much, as much moisture in my hair as possible, because obviously at 62, I still color my hair. I don't want to walk around with gray, gray hair. I, I would look so incredibly washed out that, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it makes me feel good, right? Um, so I will wash my hair, go do my hair, and then get dressed, and then come in here and sit down and just check everything. I check my phones, I check my emails, and I just take a few sips of my coffee. And if there's nothing urgent that has to be done, like right then and right there, then I'll think about the video that I want to do, that I want to post every day to get ready with you. Um, what I'm wearing, the colors that I'm wearing, the kind of look that I want it to be. Um, and I think about that and then I go and I decide, okay, which palette am I going to use? Which color story am I going to use today? And it's always going to reflect based upon what I'm wearing. Um, and then I have everything, I have everything in my uh, little office here that I have set up. This is all my filing that I do over here. This is how I keep everything organized for the day. And then this is um, my makeup, sort of little makeup area here. I put everything in this big um, clear through con container so I can see where everything is. And then I do keep some additional things, you know, down here. Uh, so I don't have to continually go walk back out to my office. And then I will video do my get ready with you. Um, I'll post that. And then once I do that, I'll, I will get up and take a, a short break, take my dog out, give him a treat, uh, go check on my fish. I go out and I check my fish and I turn my lights on in my office for the fish and check and make sure that they're all alive, you know, that kind of stuff. And then once I've done all of that, that's a good hour or so, then I will come in and I will sit here and I will start to formulate what I'm gonna work on first. Um, and that a lot of that depends on what came in on the emails um, and what has to be done today, what could be pushed to tomorrow. And then I will always check too in my email what's on my calendar because there's no way one person with three companies and another, and another interest, my modeling and my acting, can manage my calendar, my dog's calendar, vet calendar, and my husband's calendar. I manage all three calendars, so I know when one of us has got to get to get wherever we got to get, whether it's the vet or my husband needs to get to the doctor or his physical therapy, or me. And truly the way that I keep the most organized, I do use my calendar on my computer. Um, I do. But um, when I get to the stage that I'm checking my calendar, I will come in and I will look at my, um, my daily calendar.
calendar. I, you know, I am a um, big, a big believer that you've you've got to stay organized, um, and so I use my my daily planner here, and I put all of my um, appointments that are firm in my calendar and I look at it and then that way I've, I've kind of got it in two places. I can't miss it in other words. If it's something that my husband needs to know about or if it's one of his appointments and it's coming within the next couple of days, I'll shoot him an email and say, you know, don't forget you've got this at this time um, or I need you to go and pick up the dogs medication, just, you know, stuff like that. But I, I maintain it all. And the only way I could possibly ever do it is to have it on my computer and have a hard copy too, because my hard copy travels with me wherever I go. And it just helps me to stay organized. And then I just work, I work and I, I film the video and then I upload the video and it's taking forever right now. Our internet is incredibly slow. Um, so while well, that's doing that and I copy and paste into the videos, you know, what I want to say and all that kind of stuff, um, I'll be checking what's coming in because generally speaking, um, when my phones turn on at 10 o'clock for my insurance agency, the phones are open 10 to four, they ring all day and I don't have any employees right now. It's just me. Um, probably won't be making any changes for quite some time because I'm a control freak and I just can't find somebody that I really trust to take care of that part of what I need help with because it's a very important skill set and um, I just haven't found anybody that I'm comfortable with and so I would rather do it myself and that's probably why I'm so exhausted but when you make a mistake in the insurance world, it could be catastrophe. And I just am not willing to let that happen. And so uh, I do it myself and I know it gets done right. And um, my son helps me with my DIY company, so I have help there. Um, so I do have help, but uh, I don't have a day, you know, an, an everyday employee. I just, uh, I'm just not ready for that um, since COVID. and. Um, I've got a really good schedule down, I, you know, and I, I get through it. I'm very organized. Obviously, I have to be to run this many things and have three sick people all trying to get to different places um, at once. I think that the one thing that keeps me the most organized is working off of this system. I was introduced to this system when I first started in the insurance business and um, this is a brand new notebook I just started a day ago um, and just so you know when every single phone call that I make or that comes in to me regardless of what it is whether it's my insurance agency my DIY company or my mental wellness company it all goes in a binder and the binders are, are stored chronologically um, so every single phone call, every single yellow you see is a conversation. And then I take notes as to what's in that conversation. What do I need to do? What do I need to provide? Is it an order? Is it an audition request? It is, is it a reminder that I have a meeting somewhere or my dog has, everything goes in here. Every single phone call goes in here. It's logged, the person's name. I put the um, date up at the very top and then once it's completed and I have finished it completely whether it's um, an insurance request or like I said I then go back to that person and when it's done and I'm finished and I have no further follow-up on it it gets a check mark now when I do come in in the mornings and I'm looking let me get my other one out here so I can show you um, if I don't get it finished, if I don't get it finished, then I will come back. And sometimes I don't highlight, I use different colors, but the majority of the time I highlight, but like if I don't get it finished um, the day that it's due and it doesn't have a check mark on it, 
as I'm coming in and I'm reading through the day, I'm looking for these check marks. And if there's not a check mark by the person that I've talked to, then that clues me that I've got to go back and I've got to finish something. I've either got to follow up on a payment or I've got to send something or I've got to make a phone call. And then once that's done, then I come back in and I write done. So then I know that I've taken care of that particular person, maybe not on the first day, but on the second day. So it, it is definitely a process. If it's done immediately, it gets a check mark. If it's not done immediately and there's some sort of follow up, then I don't check it. I come back and I, once I've completed it, then I write done on it. And then that way I know that um, for whatever reason it didn't get done that day. And you know, as you can see, <laughs> see if I can show you this, as you can see, It has a lot of stuff in it. But for me, these are a lifesaver. Um, and I know you're gonna say, well, why don't you use it electronically? I am a little bit too old school for that. I want it in my hand. I, I don't want to have to, if I have a, a technical problem and there's an emergency with something, especially when it's related to insurance, I want to find this book because then I'll be able to go to the date and I'll be able to look up the name and I'll be able to see what I did. And then I'll be able to go to my files and figure out whatever it is that I need to figure out. I just find that this is a godsend and it has everything in it. It just doesn't have my work. It has, it has my life. These are my daily life journals and I think they are probably the most successful organizational skill that I have learned in my career and my very first boss showed me this system and I won't change it because it is a fail safe system. Um, I have to manually go back and check if I have forgotten something then I have to actually write that I have done it. And then that I know if I go back and I look back in history, I can see, well, I didn't do it on this date, but then I went back on that date and I know that it's done. And it just, um, it just keeps me organized. My dad used a very similar, to, similar system to this um, in his journals as well. So I saw my dad sort of doing it. My brothers do it as well. And so, um, I think it's probably a, a little bit of a generational thing, but I just am not comfortable letting this go because I can get to it and I can look it up and I can see what my notes are. Um, a lot of people I know use do electronically. I'm just not, I, I'm just not comfortable with that. And it's just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a preference. It's a choice. And then, um, I just work through my day. I, Try to take four breaks a day, get up, get my blood working, um, get away from these computers. Um, I'll go out and I'll spend some time with my fish, feed my fish, clean their pond. And then at five o'clock, everything turns off and I do whatever it is that I need to do in the house. Um, my husband and I don't cook a lot during the week. We try to cook on the weekends and then have leftovers for the week. So neither one of us are worrying about standing in the kitchen at night trying to cook dinner. Um, it just works easier for us that way. By 5.30, I'm feeding Duke. And then he gets to go for a swim every day to try to help him, you know, uh, help him be as comfortable as, his can, as, as we can keep him at this stage of his life and to give him the therapy that he needs in the pool. My husband is also in the pool doing his therapy. We have dinner and we watch TV. And then I made a promise to myself a couple of weeks ago that the phones were gonna be turned off two hours prior to going to sleep. And I've been doing that about a week now. And I gotta tell you guys, I wish somebody had told me that before because I am sleeping better. I'm resting better. My eyes aren't nearly as tired. And I think it's really important to decompress before I would stare at the ceiling, 12, 30, one o'clock at night, and I, I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't turn my brain off. It was just like overstimulated because I'm constantly getting messages from my clients um, and I just couldn't turn it off. So I, I've, 
promised myself two hours at nine o'clock, the phone goes off, unless it's an emergency and I have an emergency tone that comes in whenever it's a fam a different ringtone if it's a family member, um, and that will alert me that it's family calling. And that's the only phone calls I'll take after nine o'clock is my family. Um, because I just find that I need the downtime. I need the downtime. And that's kind of how I stay organized. Uh, on the weekends I spend in the house or in the yard, um, I'm a very, very particular housekeeper. I don't like my house to be messy or dirty. Having this here right now in my, in my dining room drives me crazy, but I know how important it is to be with my husband and my dog right now. And so I can look past it for right now. And it's so incredibly hot. My little office at the back of our property is so hot that would be just miserable because my big air conditioning unit has stopped working. And all I have now is a little window unit and it just can't keep up. So I don't want to be miserable either. I'm struggling enough physically that I just need to be in my house where I can see everybody, hear everybody and have that comfort that if there's a problem, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I can get to either one of them within seconds. And that's really important for my own peace of mind. And that's it. It's not very complicated, um, but it is how I get organized. It is how I stay organized. And another thing that I think is really important is to prioritize the things that come in, what's really urgent and what's not really urgent. I think we get stuck in this rut, especially with our technology today, that we're constantly checking our emails and that's okay, you should. But I think you've got to take it one further step and really prioritize what is an emergency and address it in the right fashion. If it's an emergency in insurance, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> That's kind of the way I look at it. Uh, if somebody wants something urgently, like it's got to be done like right away, there's a big problem. And I will do a lot of investigation before I will just drop everything because it disrupts everything too much. I take everything as it comes in, in the order that it comes in. Um, the only thing that will disrupt that is if I get a, a modeling or acting request because those have a, normally speaking, have a pretty stringent time restriction on them or a mandatory re reply by. And so those sort of go to the top <clears throat> again because the payment and the return on my time is so much more than my other two businesses. So, you know, you have to prioritize where your money comes in. Uh, and that's it. I clean on the weekends. I do laundry on the weekends. Um, I run my errands on the weekends. There are some days where I will take off at two or three o'clock, especially if I have a doctor's appointment and I will do some business related things, go to the mailbox, that kind of stuff. But, um, that's it. It's not a complicated system, but it is a system that works really well for me. And I am a regimented routine person. I like my routine. When I get out of my routine, that's when I struggle. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you some insight. Uh, if you want more specifics on how I actually manage these books and what I write, I'm happy to share that too, because I think it is a great way to stay organized and not miss something. Um, we are also incredibly busy. You've got to have some system to stay organized so you don't miss things because it's when we miss things that we have problems and none of us want to have those problems. Life is hard enough without any other problems added on top of it. Just living is a challenge these days. Um, as we get older too, let me tell you, it doesn't get any easier. My husband calls it damage because it's damn age. And he is so right because it just starts to creep. <laughs> it's like this creeping machine and it adds on top of one another and it can be a lot. But I've got a good support system, so that's all that matters. And you guys are part of that. So thank you for this wonderful community for us to be able to communicate and talk about and to get these requests. It really is such a joy in my life right now. And I so appreciate you, your time 
and being part of this small but growing co community. So let's get it to grow. I would love that. And I would love for you to be part of it. So like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share it with somebody that may need it. And please let me know if you're new so I can reach out to you personally and say thank you. And I can't wait to hear from you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. It is five o'clock somewhere now. So the weekend is finally here. God bless. And don't forget, decompress, be grateful to see a new day, and always, always tell those that you love how much they mean to you because tomorrow is never a guarantee. Spend time with those that you love and let them know just how much you do love them because life can change on a dime. God bless.